six points he's got in this championship. Cluxton turns the moment he struck the ball. Five-point game. We're really taking this for granted, aren't we, when he comes up to take them? And it's unfair because this is this no more than O'Connor in the first half. This is fantastic uh, ball striking. And needed, too, because a six-point game, he slipped yeah. it back to five. You know, every point is so, so important now if they're going to make this comeback. Mayo outscored Dublin by six points to one in the final 13 minutes of the first half. Aidan O'Shea. Barry Moore. Kevin Kane. Great first half he had. Apart from that double hop. A foul by Keane O'Sullivan on Michael Conroy. Soft one. One of the criticisms of that Dublin defence has been that they give away soft frees. And certainly there are two cornerbacks, Michael Fitzsimons in the first half and Keane O'Sullivan. That is a free. And uh, that they have been under a lot of pressure. He's also picked up a yellow for it. And uh, they do get concede scoreable frees, and they are being punished for them. And will the punishment be dished out by Killian O'Connor? Exceptional kicking the ball off the ground. How is he out of the hand? restored that six-point lead first of the second half 13-7 he's good out of the hand as well one of the best actually that I've seen over the last couple of years oh and there's a bit of a melee off the ball there's been some sort of an incident and uh, Jason Doherty was involved as a male player down on the ground and you can see how incensed Stephen Cluxton is with all of that it's end of Arley who's down and it's still continuing on and the doctor has indicated that it is a serious injury I see him uh, calling to the sideline I didn't see it I have to say no. I was writing at the time just taking note of that free from uh, O'Connor here is what happened well you can see Varley going down clutching his face and then Rory O'Carroll trying to lift him back up Incensed, he obviously felt that there was some sort of play acting with Varley, and then Doherty got involved, and it just all got out of control from there. Who exactly was closest to end of Varley at the time? Well, the umpires will tell the referee they're having that consultation at the moment. Well, he's, there's blood been drawn, there's no doubt. Rory and, Hickey uh, is the linesman on the right of the picture. Yeah. They don't normally draw blood themselves. <laughs> Just have a look down the bottom of your screen. Yeah, there's the bang. It was number 17. It's Philly McMahon, and I suppose when you look at the two players, they were going to come together in the first place. Varley yeah. sort of lunged, and McMahon reacted. Anyway, Mayo are getting ready to bring Alan Freeman in. Huge uh, stoppage. Going to bring him on as a blood sub, I wonder, Alan Freeman. But what did the linesman see? Can they make the, the blood substitution and at least allow the game to continue? Well, that probably should have happened a while ago, to be honest. So Alan Freeman has... Uh, come on as a blood sub wearing number 26 and there's Philly McMahon who was involved in that thing with end of Arley thing in inverted commas for accused the other linesman in <laughs> he's still a letter writing huge stop it still the game isn't going to continue and who is the referee calling over? He's going towards James McCarthy. But from what we've seen, it wasn't McCarthy who was involved, it was Philly McMahon. So is it going to be somebody else? Yeah, that's what they're telling him, that yeah. the wrong guy. 
and Paul accused the lines were coming back in again and this to be honest isn't very satisfactory I wasn't running a watch on how long the match has been stopped for but it's got to be at least two minutes probably more and McCarthy has been beckoned over again no he's not now it's Alan Dillon <laughs> and a yellow for Alan Dillon there were reactions and for McCarthy there were reactions uh, after the initial incident as you saw so Dillon in the book and now Rory O'Carroll I think is going to get something as well and where is this information coming from so a yellow for Rory O'Carroll and the man involved in this doesn't get a yellow so the game back on, thankfully. Still Mayo lead by six, a point apiece for the two teams since the second half restarted, but we've had more stoppage than football. Richie Feeney for Mayo, Dermot Connolly getting involved. This could boil over again, there's a lot of tension out there and some unwelcome reactions once more. That was a bit on the high side from Alan Brogan, Feeney went down, the free given and the ball moved forward for descent while you were watching that, so... Just, uh, anyway, there's an edge to this now. Killian O'Connor allowed to easily catch the ball. The All-Ireland champions have got one hand still on the Sam Maguire. Will it be wrestled out of their hands by Mayo? Michael Darrow McCauley into the open space for Bernard Broken. They reckon he could be one score away from turning his year around. He turns provider this time. And Barry Moore and just helping the Dublin man out of the way who was Dennis Bastig and then there's another reaction off the ball and we play on with Kevin McLaughlin Killian O'Connor Donald Vaughan again popping up as the extra man and now McLaughlin goes through leaves the ball after him and Dublin let off the hook that's Kevin Nolan boring away at it barging out referee didn't like it free in Mayo well, Donald Vaughan has got very, very lucky. He's uh, having a lot of turnovers early in the second half. That was a very easy hand pass to make. And a runner coming off the shoulder, he turned it over, and then the Dublin defender gets caught for boring. This is the last Dublin opportunity. Well, half, half an opportunity. Yeah, I didn't see anything there, I have to say, Dara. Just a strong, powerful midfielder going for the ball. Now, Killian O'Connor, remember, in the first half, kicked three 45s off the ground. This time, he's going out of the hand for some reason there's no not a breath of wind around it's a really lovely afternoon here a yard or two inside the 45 Killian O'Connor and off the ground and out of the hand the guy is flawless and they stretch their lead these are not easy this is so good really clever here they come again. Clever little ball. A grubber, as it goes from Alan Dillon. Up towards Alan Freeman. And Rory O'Carroll has it back for Dublin. They need to make several things happen from here on in. Dear McConnelly in his own half back line didn't pick it up off the ground according to the referee and that was the right call Michael Darrow McCauley Mayo putting enormous pressure on the Dublin defence when they have the ball here's Philly McMahon and he's just kicked the ball away straight to Chris Barrett doesn't feel like it's going to be Dublin's day it's Mayo's there how bad do they want it they've been driven all year but Donald Vaughan kicking the ball away a bad mistake here comes Dennis Bastic almost in a few minutes ago but denied by Barry Moore and Kieran Kilkenny now didn't catch that at all David Clark will catch those and deal with those all day here's Keith Higgins well Higgins always plays with a swagger but a bit set too much so on that occasion Alan Kane and that's a great ball Alan Freeman close to the starting 15 he was Freeman back to Conroy played in the 4 All-Ireland Final. Will he get to play in another one? Here's Alan Dillon. The Dublin defensive system is marked AWOL and that's well taken by Stephen Cluxton. But Dublin have lost their shape all over the place. This much vaunted defensive system just shutting down but Jer Brennan trying to bring some order to it and get them going forward again. And here's Keno Sullivan. Second time in the match he's been able to launch an attack. 
taking it into the challenge with Kevin Kane. O'Sullivan still going. Let's it off towards Bastic, but it's won back from there by Chris Barrett, but he gives it back to Dublin. Unbelievable passage of play. Kieran Kilkenny has to go back. Dear McConnelly has been popping up in the half back line, now in the half forward line. Pressure put on them again. Brogan, they need this, and Brogan won't be able to give it to them. Dear McConnelly out of picture went down injured he's clutching his right thigh as we follow the play with Alan Dillon where is he going to pop up next Aidan O'Shea Killian O'Connor Dublin are going to make a change at midfield Ono Gar is going to come in Bastic is going to go off here's Richie Feeney has been going well and scoring well in training and there he brings back form to the biggest stage of all he broke part and what is on for Mayo? They beat Dublin in 2006 by a point. They lead by 15 points to seven. The All-Ireland champions are on the rack. And as you watch that, they're giving the ball straight back to Mayo. Killian O'Connor for two in the space of 20 seconds, and he's done it. Killian O'Connor. Surely it's got to be Mayo's day. 16 points to seven. The underdogs hammering the All-Ireland champions at the minute. Owen O'Gara is on. Dennis Bastic going off. And surely Michael Darrow McCauley will go to midfield now. Well, a terrible kick out. And O'Connor so accurate. And in the earlier play, Alan Brogan took a shot from distance, hurt himself in doing it. And Jeremy Conley got a bang as well. So things to look out for. Mayo winning absolutely all over the field. Killian O'Connor, they could really go to town. And they could still is Darby the goal scorer. Especially as he's put it wide. What a chance that was. You could have started the scramble for All-Ireland tickets in Mayo right there if that had gone in. Yeah. As it is, Dublin are in serious trouble and Mayo are in a great position. But they're making mistakes, Dublin, all over the place. Pressure just so intense. That should have been a goal. Yeah, the ball broke kindly for him. Puts it too far to the left. I'm sure Cluxton had his angles well covered too, but you'd expect if that goes into the net, the game was over. So it stays alive for another while. Ger Brennan, look at the scoring chances. Mayo have just been... Dominant from first minute to right now. Brogan trying to thread the ball in to a Dublin man in the middle. It's like as if Mayo have more players, particularly defenders. David Clark. Oh, hello. Clark got out of jail by Keith Higgins. Kevin McLaughlin has been super. So has he, Killian O'Connor, Donald Vaughan. This is champagne football for Mayo against the All-Ireland champions whose crown and their grip on the Sam Maguire is slipping by the minute. McCarthy ran straight into the ball. Here's Dillon again. Nobody at home for Dublin at the back. Dillon over the bar. Three points for Alan Dillon and he is in the form of his life. And look at the scoreline. Ten points. Dublin are being beaten by Mayo. Mayo 17, Dublin 7. Mayo's day, it's got to be. Dear McConnelly, that's Chris Barrett behind him. 13 minutes since Dublin have last scored. They're in looking for goals, but they're not going to get it. That came off the foot of Jer Cafferty. Not going to get it right now, anyway. And in the earlier Dylan point, when he gave the pass inside and went for the return, not a single Dublin player went and tracked him, and that's why he got the, the open play and got the time to knock it over the bar. Still had to be put over, and he did so, so well but not a single Dublin defender went with them once he made the, the first pass. They've got some serious work to do. Stephen Cluxton is coming forward.